John, where are you? Come up here. I got something. We're going to do something here. We're going to illustrate this for the dummies, all right? If you've missed this so far, you're not going to miss it right now. Now, just turn around there just like that. Face everybody. Now, when John was born into the world, he was born innocent and pure. Can you ever believe that? And when, <laughs> when John came into the world, he was so cute. I mean, everybody looked at him and said, he is so cute. He's, that was a long time ago, wasn't it, John? Yeah. All right. Now, now, John lived his life, and he's picked up a few spots along the way, a few stains. This is the old robe of flesh. This is how God looks down, and he sees John. He says, John, you sure have messed it up. Now, John says, okay, God, I'm going to get baptized and wash it away. No, baptism will not wash it away, John. So, well, I'll join the church. John, there's nothing the church can do to take out those stains. Those are permanent. These are stains from lying and stealing. You killed somebody, John? And <clears throat> adultery and fornication and cussing and stuff. I mean, here's this. You've really messed it up, John. I don't think there's any way you're going to get to heaven in this outfit. I think if he shows up at the gates of heaven like this, God's going to say, I'm sorry. I never knew you. You. Uh, what I made is pure and white and clean. You've messed that thing all up. No way I can help you. Now, John, I got some good news for you. Some time ago, a man came to the earth, and he lived a life just as you've lived, except at the end of his life, he was perfect and sinless. There was no mar on him. He lived totally without sin, the man Christ Jesus. He's had a robe, they said, which was so white, no washed woman on earth could have made it any whiter. That's how the Lord Jesus was. And he lived his whole 33-year li life as a perfect man, where you've lived your life, and I've lived mine, and everybody out here is an unperfect man. Now, Jesus Christ did that so that he could take your place, John. Jesus said, you know, I won't, John is headed to destruction. He's going to be crucified. He's going to be cast into hell. He's unworthy. But I don't want to cast John into hell, God says. He says, I want to save him. But I can't save him with all this filthy, dirty robe and this unclean heart. So I'm going to die on the cross. So Jesus Christ takes your sin on himself, John. He takes it like this and he lays it on himself. God made him to be sin for us, him who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And then Jesus dies and sheds his blood to cover our sin so God will see it no more. The blood of Jesus Christ covers our sin and not only covers it, but when Jesus died, he went into the grave with our sin like this, took it and deposited it where it ought to be. And when Jesus came up out of the grave, he was spotless and pure once again in his white robe. But now then, he was the perfect man. He was the last Adam. He was the second man. And what God needs now is a third man and a fourth man and a fifth man like this man. So God says to John here, said, John, would you like to have a white robe like this? And John said, I would, but I don't think I'd ever get it that white. And, jo and Jesus said, no, John, by faith, I'm going to cover you in my righteousness, and I'm going to make you as white as snow. I'm going to wash your sins away as far as the east is from the west, and I'm going to remember them no more. John, when you come up to the gate of heaven, angels are going to look and say, there's another Jesus. Let him in. <laughs> And that's not all. And he says, and we will live and reign with him forever. So what God's going to do, John, not going to just clean you up. We're going to declare you a son of God and turn you into royalty. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And all, I didn't do it, you thank him. And all it takes is believing. 
Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Are you believing right now? Yes. If you're believing right now and you've never believed with all your heart before, right now you're believing, then God is washing you away with his blood, putting that white robe upon you and giving you royalty in his family. Amen. Amen. All right.